Hey everyone, it's Adrian from SNATME.com. So recently we we done a tiger tutorial. It, it was um, animal creation for films. We recently released that with Next Suit Educations. So if you haven't seen that, you can check that out. The link will be in the descriptions below. So basically why I'm here, it's, it's just to show you guys a sneak peek on what we're working on. Um, in Blender, so we basically doing a uh, realistic also uh, a, a realistic animal creation, but then in Blender using free software. So this is very 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 exciting. So these these techniques I'm gonna be using are uh, they pretty much different. And um, so if you've you've purchased or the the, the tag course. The, this this course that's going to be coming up um the, the blender one that technique will be very um pretty much different so we're not going to be using, leaving blender everything will be done in blender from 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 the uh, cube until the rendering the final render and the final scene so roughly going through the the tiger course if you haven't seen it this was the final render image done in maya so basically sculpted in ZBrush, I'm going to show you guys the, the process a bit now. And then we we done the fur in Blender. A quick and easy way to, to do your grooming. Um, if anyone is a professional groomer, this takes a while. But then I just used the quickest and dirty way to, to get those fur going on. So you, you, you guys can just get... Um, something for your portfolios and just grab just quick renders like that so this was the final image i have something over here i have a if i have my face let me see i this tiger anatomy production so uh, this short video let me see if i can see my face yeah okay fine so i'm just gonna mm, Take it out of full screen. Could probably give my face also. And so basically, it all started with the Z spheres, blocking out all the skeletal um, the skeletal system proportions. As you can see, the cow the cow dao vertebrae, and the uh, pelvis region, this the sacrum, etc. And also the lumbar, the thoracic. We did the rib cage, everything very 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 basic. Just first to get those underlining mark, and then the the uh, cranium etc. Scapula, the humerus, and the radius. Everything it, 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 it's all like in single form. So then not a lot of details. And then when we continue display, we are done this blocking out of the basic skeleton. Over there, this is the tiger course again, guys. If you're just tuning in, and then the, the the very very basic blocking out of the muscles, and move right in, just refining everything, um, step by step. So just showing you guys, in each and every lecture, we fixing those proportion and adding those muscle details. As you can see, we exaggerated those muscle details. Details, I mean, in this course. So I. I specifically just um, was focusing on the overall uh, anatomy and muscle details more than the, the grooming if I can say but then on the blender tutorial I'll be focusing more on the grooming like the, the, the fur if we can um, um, push ourselves to to to, uh, to to groom like those realistic furs just look closely at our reference each and every curve which I, I, I'm going to show you guys quickly and then from there just flicking the proportions again and then posing the, the character and then we used the uh, zero mesh over here so then everything here was done in ZBrush so it was not I wouldn't say it was animation ready the topology was done with zero mesh uh, uh, just quick and dirty way to get those uh, those UVs so that was that and and then we just pose our character with the transpose tools like that let me just move on quickly so you guys can see the process so this was just step by step me um, 
um, going through that in the, the 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 courses over there. And then once we done the the pose, we we went overboard with the skin details, as you can see over here. It's a bit low res what I'm showing you guys over here. It's just for you guys to see um, this process. And again, if you you want to know more, you you can check out our our course a preview um, on this channel or on my channel, and or you you can um, check out next to our, our previous video, um, my instructor introduction video. So I shared roughly the the overview of um, how I made this tiger as you can see it's just um, also the the, the assets the tree bark that, that's the only thing we, we sculpted and again focusing on the fine details like because um, ZBrush we have like a, a lot of control with all the details so I was focusing on many a lot of details right there um, as you can see just turning around so you guys can 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 see over here so this was only ZBrush. Now we never went out of ZBrush at this stage until we we reached those fine details uh, from the primary forms, etc. So I'm quickly gonna close this tiger cause. I'm gonna close this video. I'm sure you guys seen this. Uh, hide this. And this was the final render in Maya. Again, I, I don't have the Maya scene open. But then this was the final render in my uh, just a, a little tweaking done in Photoshop to get those. Um, let me quickly charge my laptop. Sorry about that. Uh, let me just connect the charge over here. Okay, sorted. And then let me see if I have another another screen or something. Okay, it's fine. Let's close this guy, the tiger. Now what we wait now what we're working on, what I'm working on right now, it's the animal creation, realistic animal creation in Blender. So we doing a, a African wild dog. So if I can show you guys, there are different types of wild dogs that we have. Specifically, there are different types of them. But in this case, we're working on the West Central North African wild dog. This, uh, this one over here, you can see they are a bit different. If you look at the fur detail, uh, like so, the fur detail and some of the proportions, they they kind of like differ. Check out these ones are like skinnier and stuff. And these ones are like a bit taller. Uh, so like that so this if I click on the dog and go to modifiers go to zero subdivision so this was basically done just using let me open up this sorry guys I'm preparing for this and um, bam go to white dog and then go to so this was basically done using I started this just grabbing the reference as like a backdrop so this is like a basic way uh, to box modeling and then you start from a, a cube a basic cube just extruding uh, with um, following those silhouettes overall our model so that's how we, we started everything and then obviously and, and then the low poly and then this, this was the low poly that we got for us to start with the UVs Etc. I'm still gonna open up the, the bin flower and, and just show you guys um how is everything looking. Uh just just first to get those UVs and also the then we we subdivided without adding any muscle um going into muscle uh, uh, superficial muscle etc. And and then we went through obviously because the anatomy is very important the superficial muscles. I'm gonna show you guys that. Uh, sculpting in Blender, as you can see, first he's just blocking out those su uh, superficial muscle shapes, correcting the forms like that. Subdiv uh, uh, go up a subdivide, subdividing a bit more, emphasizing those superficial muscles. So this this won't be like going in, into more details as the the 
the tiger cause was specifically just um, focusing on mainly sculpting superficial muscles and muscle mass in details and all those details here yeah, specifically we we're going to be diving through a lot of um of grooming so a lot of hair as you see this reference let me just open up my this is the motivation reference i have my, one of my main ones so uh, let me just open another image uh, let's see if I can find an image quickly here, you guys. So just understanding these flows and spending a lot of time with this fur. And everything is covered in fur, as you guys can see. Just understanding all this, how everything works. So like like when you're doing like a character, you, you, you tend to, to like focus on the skin details. So I think when I'm doing characters, I, I spend a lot of time with pores, pore detail, etc. I have this also, this image over here, a, a close-up of the image. If you look at this hair, you can see over here, there's, there's no hair growing, growing over there. And this is just skin, skin layer, and the, this hair is clumping like so and then it curves and these ones move in the other direction these ones are, white, are way shorter and here you, you get all these wrinkles these ones are moving in this direction so in this in this course it's me just focusing in more detail just understanding the, the groom understanding animal fur to for us to achieve those realistic details and, and again the eyes are very crucial as i normally state so i'm uh, quickly going to show you guys in blender what we have so this this is roughly our primary forms we have, as you guys can see, another detail there. Haven't subdivided even more, but then the overall muscles are there that we need before we uh, add added the skin detail, the the texture I mean. And then if I go to the texture mode, you see we already textured the sky. And again, just using. Everything just done in a blender. So when we we are gonna be doing our groom, it's gonna be very 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 exciting to to do that and and also posing our character. And if if I can quickly show the eyes, uh, let me just hide the dog. You can see um, we haven't done the the shading part. Just for you guys to see that the we so we have the scalera don't mind this area so we are painting over here. this this is going to be completely transparent so the so you can basically see that the iris inside so i i done this in two parts so the scalera which is mixed with the cornea this the refractive part or should i say the the glossy uh see-through part if i hide the cornea you can see the iris object over here inside with the lens and all the details were, were done very very quickly you will be amazed that the, there was no sculpting done on, on these i'll show you guys a very very cool trick how to get all these details this just bump it's not even texting our system or I'm not, there's no, uh, I'm not even like subdividing, it's just like crazy, it's just bump details. If I can show you, I'm using, I'm using like multi rays at one, and if I can turn it down, still the same. Just getting that subdivision one. It's fine for me, it works very, very, very fine. So I have that, and if I can show you the UVs, and if I move myself, probably down here. And I can show you guys the UVs, the UV layout. Uh, let's go to back to the sky and go to UV layout. Oh, you're so smart, Adrian. Move yourself there. Eh? Cool. And and again, like I I chose this way, like to to overlap the UVs, cause basically it, it's it's gonna be like the same the same uh, texture. So then to use the entire UV space. This is what I done. Uh, you can see this is the pupil, uh, or you can call it the lens. 
over here and then the the iris gets a lot of details as you can see so we're just optimizing the uv space over here and fairly decent uvs unlike the tiger course which we, which we done those quick and dirty uv maps here we we tend to focus mainly on our seams where we place our seams because we have like a, a lot of control unlike zbrush you you need to work a lot of on the optimizing and stuff and then if i can show you guys the con here okay i need to get out of okay grab this guy then select uv editing this is the corner and again also overlapping so if i so if you see over here let me just remove this to the side so this side won't be visible so this is this one over here press r these are these and they also overlapping so the back faces which won't be visible they they're just occupying a little amount of um, of of texture space over there at the bottom because they, they basically they won't be visible so then yeah there's no need to um, to go crazy with those guys mm. and then the front faces which are these one press out to select where i am my guess everything just this one press out these guys so these guys will be um uh accumulating a lot of texture space because they are the, the ones that that um, um have to get all those details etc and again it's it's not a lot because it's it's like hardly visible like almost like a small section part of the skeleton will be visible but then just for us to to know how to do things how to sculpt realistic eyes or model realistic eyes because this will we're going to be modeling this as you can see uh, fairly easy from a sphere and then just editing those edge loop and extruding you see this protrude and this curvature over here which is very very crucial and then if i grab that dog also go back to the layout and so i just go to the dog select the dog and go back to uv editing and also they have you see the seams we try to hide them as best as possible also at the bottom over here under the legs under the tail and just separate the tail like so everything here yeah, was done with box modeling even the nails we separated the nails like separately in their own uvs so you can basically see the this is the body and then this is the head this is the the, the limbs the four limbs and the the hind limbs and the tail and these are the paws now those ones over here separated like that scattered like that pretty much decent uh because we have a lot of control unlike zebrush again unlike the tiger course we never went through all these seams etc so that's that so what we're going to do from here so here's just just a sneak peek uh so just for you guys to see what's coming up uh so it's basically a wild realistic render a realistic um animals creation in blender everything done in blender free software so there's no excuses and so far i just want to tell you guys so far i haven't used any tablet just a mouse even the sculpting and the painting everything is done using a mouse so far probably once i'm re-adding the find i don't know but then the mouse took me this far with 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 just that and with no any wire drawing tablet or whatsoever so this is this, this this is it and then we will be adding those fine details so so just make sure you 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 um you you subscribe and turn on the notification notification bell and check out the links in the description to to see all our courses so this will will be coming up very very soon and so it's for you guys to not miss out just make sure you you follow us and again it's adrian from sa and i'll see you guys in the next one